While athletes are aspiring youth athletes to stand against the officers who risk their lives to protect them, one athletic director is showing professional athletes everywhere his stance on the situation. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now back to the story. Green Bay Packers head coach Mike McCarthy was deeply disturbed by the recent behavior of some players. Instead of threatening to punish his players for exercising their freedom of expression, he used his same freedom to support law enforcement in a major way. According to the Bleacher Report, McCarthy and the Packers announced they will donate $200,000 to the recently formed Green Bay Police Foundation. McCarthy explained that his motivation for giving such a generous amount to this particular agency is to, quote, be part of the solution to make our community better, end quote. McCarthy and the Packers announced that they are donating $200,000 to the newly formed Green Bay Police Foundation. This is a very difficult time for our country and really need a program like this that bring people together, bring communities together, particularly public safety and community members, and really start listening to each other and having a discussion instead of trying to win the debate, McCarthy said in a statement. This is something that could well be a role model for other cities around the country. Of course, anti-police athletes are donating in ways of their own, finally putting their money where their mouth is. Kopernik, who is half white and half black, recently pledged $1 million to reportedly raise awareness of social injustice in the US. Most likely forced to donate just a small percentage of his millions since his kneeling during the national anthem did absolutely nothing to help the black community, Kopernik possesses a powerful platform and financial capability to actually do something about black onslaught, yet focuses on the leaky faucet as opposed to the giant hole in the dam. According to FBI statistics, 91% of murdered blacks are killed by other blacks, while only 83% of murdered whites are killed by other whites. Perhaps the most disturbing fact ignored by these anti-police activists is that whites are still statistically more likely to be victims of police brutality. Ironically, blacks are 160 times more likely to be killed by other blacks than by police. So when they're gathering hundreds to protest against law enforcement, they are statistically in more danger than in the presence of police officers they despise so much.